guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Minneapolis surprise song o'clock's version. And um, I am nervous because I'm hearing rumors. There's no confirmation. I've seen like no pictures, but apparently Bonnie Iver's there. And if I lose Exile tonight, I'm going to scream. Um, my hair is like halfway done because I was just trying to do it because I'm literally driving to see Ed Sheeran in the morning. And so I'm trying to like, you know, make my hair look a little presentable. So that's why she looks not like she usually does right now. By the way, tomorrow night, I will literally probably be stuck in Ed Sheeran concert traffic during surprise song o'clock. So, oh, she's wearing green tonight. It's a green night. I'm scared. What is she about to sing? I'm calling Emma. <laughs> I'm, I am shocked in the best way. That was a loss. Paper rings is so much fun. coming through my head what she's on the plane. Oh my god. I knew things would change and these things happen, but I remember how was back then. Got you in your arms, had friends in life. Something like this never happened in the night. This is one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs to ever exist. Guys, when I tell you, it's been a good 20 minutes, and I'm sitting here still in shambles. That this woman played <laughs> one of my absolute favorite songs without me in the audience it hurts a little bit like the moment I heard this song when it came out on speak now that she has now decided that it needs to be on fearless Taylor's version um I literally it's like one of those songs that you can just like see in your head and uh, I've always like wanted her to do it. You know what? She can make this up to me. She can make it up to me. Dear Taylor Swift, since you're reading my list, 
ma'am, make a music video for this song. Um, that's how you redeem yourself here. And please don't play Dear Reader unless you're gonna come play in my backyard. Um, so, I'm at a loss for words. But seriously, that song is like one of like those visually, like, I don't know, it's just, I've always loved if this was a movie and I can't believe she did this to me. I better go to sleep because I am driving to see Edward Sheeran in the morning and um, I'm distressed. Guys, when I tell you, I just, not a minute and a half ago, walked in from Ed Sheeran, and I'm back on this. Oh, this girl has good seats, too. She's, this girl has good seats, look at this. Holy cow. Oh, she has like, I understand why she's yelling. <laughs> so this is part of the acoustic set. How are you guys doing back here? <laughs> she's gonna play a song from Speak Now, I feel it. Because it's 13 days until Speak Now, like she's gonna put I knew it. She's gonna play something from Speak Now. It's gonna be better than Revenge. I'm calling it right now. She said, "Be nice to internet." Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> That's funny. oh. Okay, I'll be back in like five minutes. Oh, are you? <gasps> oh my God! Oh, Lord have mercy! I'm so sorry to Emma. She just played daylight. Oh, she did. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a loss. I don't want to look at anything else now that I saw you. 
Why didn't she play this in New York? It literally says back and forth from New York. I just wanted to do a little recap and tell everybody that I'm literally editing this video as I speak. It's like 9 o'clock at night before the night I upload this. Um, I got back from Ed Sheeran yesterday. <sighs> All I can think about is how much of a loss these surprise songs were this weekend. Like, it literally took me and Emma out. Okay, if this was a movie, it's one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs. Like, probably my favorite Taylor Swift song right after Dancing With Her Hands Tied. Like, of all time, right? I have, like, a very, like, niche list of, like, I love all of Taylor's songs, right? But there's some songs that are just, like, my stand songs. And if this was a movie, it was definitely one of them. Emma lost Daylight Night 2. <laughs> So she really decided to just, you know, play our favorites in Minneapolis. But you know what? It's so much fun. I'm so happy for everybody who heard these songs live. My biggest loss this weekend was if this was a movie, I'm going to start doing that. So um, my biggest loss was if this was a movie. Um, I can't believe she played that without me in the audience. The audacity. I'm just kidding. But like... She, she's so unpredictable, like, paper rings I was not on my bingo card. <laughs> but anyways, um, I just want to say that me and Emma, you know, we're best friends, but Taylor Swift said, you know, you and you, out with the surprise songs on your list because I'm going to sing them when you're not there. <laughs> But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're getting so close to Speak Now Taylor's version, which is insane. There's so much content coming your way. And I did vlog at Ed Sheeran. So if you love Ed Sheeran like I do, stay tuned for a vlog. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, there's so much content. I'm so excited. I have like a list on my phone. So I love you guys. And I hope to see you. Yes, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.